Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's September 9th, 2014. Let's get straight into our news tonight. The image of the military contractor has largely been tarnished by the actions of Blackwater in 2007 when they opened fire on civilians in Baghdad, killing 17. But that hasn't stopped the military industrial complex from continuing to make money. Obama's ISIS war, profit for military contractors. Earlier this week, Stars and Stripes, the Pentagon run newspaper and website, posted an article calling for contractors to fight ISIS and provide other services in Iraq. The U.S. Army Contracting Command posted a notice last month seeking contractors willing to work an initial 12 month contract who should be cognizant of the goals of reducing tensions between Arabs and Kurds and Sunnis and Shiites. The Pentagon has converted Iraq with its violent sectarian rivalries into a lucrative business opportunity for a burgeoning mercenary and contractor industry that has blossomed in the wake of September 11, 2001. But lucky for these military contractors, they can simply change their name and get back into the game because the military-industrial complex is booming. And speaking of something that goes boom, Obama's reputation. Spokesman for Sotlaw family blast Obama, White House using murdered journalists as pawns. Appearing on CNN Monday, a spokesman for the family of murdered U.S. journalist Stephen Sotloff slammed the Obama administration, declaring that both Sotloff and his compatriot journalist James Foley were used and still are being used by the White House to further its agenda in Syria. And here's what this representative had to say. They've said that their families have been consistently and regularly informed. That is not true. I speak now for, only from the Sotlaw family. I can't speak for the other families. They said that these hostages were moved uh, frequently. We know that for most of the beginning of this part of this year, they were stationary. Uh, we know that the intelligence community and the White House are enmeshed in a larger game of bureaucratic infighting, and Jim and Steve are pawns in that game, and that's not fair. And if there continues to be leaks, the Sotlaw family will have to speak out to set the record straight. Report. China moves 12,000 troops to Russian border. The report cites the Russian FSB border service as saying that Beijing began dispatching troops to the border on September 6th, with 12,000 to 15,000 soldiers making the trip backed by heavy artillery. It remains to be seen whether the reported Chinese troop movements are related to large-scale Russian nuclear drills set to take place on the Chinese border later this month. Russia and China have been forging closer links in recent weeks and months with the two superpowers recently signing a $400 billion deal for Gazprom to supply gas from Russia to China. Last week, NATO also approved a rapid response force of 3,500 troops that would be situated at bases in Poland, Romania, and the Baltic states, in a move that was widely seen as a further aggressive escalation aimed at Moscow. Now, when I talk about these stories about Russia or China, I always have to put the disclaimer on there. I'm not rooting for Russia or for China. I'm just saying that when you send NATO troops in there, and it's going to cause a, a situation of sorts, just like if anybody tried to bring troops here to the United States, you know, people would be alarmed about that and mobilize their own troops as well. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com.